Hey guys, Dalton here with RV Wholesalers. Today we're going to walk through the 2024 Ghost 34DS by Nexus. This camper is 34 feet long, even. Uh, has a fresh water capacity of 85 gallons, black water capacity of 45 gallons, and a gray water capacity of 45 gallons. This camper can tow 20,000 pounds with the inline six Cummins engine that it has underneath the hood. Let's take a walk around this beautiful Super C diesel and uh, see what all has to offer. Hey guys, here we are outside of the 2024 Nexus Ghost 34 DS. One of my personal favorite motorhomes here by Nexus. Uh, reason being, you have all air brakes, all air suspension, and of course you can tow 20,000 pounds with this motorhome. Um, so if you wanna travel the country, take a trailer behind you, um, doesn't matter really what that uh, trailer weighs because you can tow it as long as it weighs less than 20,000 pounds. Uh, you don't need a CDL to, pull, uh, to drive this camper. Very easy to drive. You're getting anywhere between seven to nine miles to the gallon. So it's, it's, it's a fun camper to drive. Of course, being a 2024 model year, you do get this nice, fancy new front end, LED headlights, um, awesome, easy to drive, great, good looking front camper. But one, again, one of my personal favorites. Uh, Ghost knocked it out of the park. Nexus knocked it out of the park. One of my favorites here. As you walk down the front of the camper here, you're going to notice the 22 and a half inch tires. So you get a little bit better gas mileage, Alcoa aluminum rims. Uh, basically, if you have a blowout, take it to any body that can service as a semi. You can get a replacement tire. Very easy to do. Of course, you have tur uh, turn signals on the side of the camper or turn signal monitors. So if you turn on your right turn signal, you can see everything down the right hand side of your camper. Uh, at, from the monitor on the dash there, very easy to use, very convenient. Um, again, power mirrors here, so uh, just like your regular truck or car that you're driving, if you want to adjust these mirrors, very easy to use, very nice to use. Uh, and of course, nice, easy semi steps here, rotate around, uh, stainless steel, painted stainless steel, so again, very easy to use. Here's a good look at the cab. Nice, comfortable seats. They are power reclining, uh, power adjustment, so very easy to use. And as you can see with that cab, lots of leg room in there. And of course, if you want to install a CB radio, they already give you the uh, hole for the head unit there. As you notice, there's no way to fill up this fuel tank that's here because it is in this awesome uh, drawer here or door here. That is your entrance to your 100 gallon fuel tank. All of your slides are on the wire system, so very easy to use, less maintenance, uh, awesome system to use. And of course, follow us on Facebook so that way you can see all of our campers and hear about all our special deals that we're currently running. This specific camper here, I, I forget the name of the color, but this whole thing is painted. The ghost label and everything is all painted on there, so no fading, no peeling, no cracking. It's gonna last you the whole life of the camper. As we're moving back here, you do have yourself a full uh, 18 foot awning uh, for that under awning presence. You're not gonna get wet as soon as you walk out of the door. And of course, with the door, you do have yourself a power retracting step. So it's not gonna hang out there while you're driving. Awesome way to use it. The reason I'm opening up all these cargo doors here is because you do see that you get the piston to hold them open so that way you're uh, not trying to hold the door open while you're moving things in and out. Other thing too, of course, you can turn these lights in and off, on and off from the light itself while you're in the cargo door, as well as there's a switch on in there so that way uh, it is motion, uh, motion activated, turn those lights on and on, on and off, as well as they're all stainless steel bins. Um, reason I point that out is if you're, if it's too cold, it's negative two out there today. Um, if that was plastic and you go to put any kind of substantial weight, say a 25 pound fishing tackle box, uh, there's a good chance that that plastic would crack. Again, this is stainless steel, so it's not. And if it gets too hot, there's a chance it could warp with that weight sitting in there. But again, stainless steel, this isn't gonna have any kind of uh, cracking or, or warping from weight. It's gonna stay rigid and uh, be able to hold all that cargo you take with you while you're camping. Moving on back down the camper, again, just checking out all this cargo capacity. This specific one's your propane uh, tank here. I believe it's 40 pounds there. And of course you still get a little bit of storage up here because they don't want to maximize all that undercarriage storage you got. Moving back, again, just even more storage. And of course a good look at that free starter kit. 
that RV Wholesalers gives you with every purchase of every camper you get from us. Here at the back of the camper, of course, there's a few things to point out. You have your frameless window, which uh, is all throughout the entire camper, giving you a, a, a space that opens at the bottom of that window of about two, three inches. So unless there's that forest gump range that comes from the bottom, you're not gonna get wet inside that camper. Backup camera at the very bot top. And of course, the main attraction back here is this 20,000 pound hitch. So again, unless your trailer you're pulling weighs 20,000 pounds, you're gonna be able to tow it. Directly underneath of there, it's a little hard to see, but you do have this upgrade right here, which is a rock catcher that says Nexus RV. And of course, when you remove that protective film, it's a nice chrome finish. So here in the next or here in the Ghost, with it being the luxury line by Nexus, you do have yourself a 2,000 watt inverter here. You do already have a built-in surge protector, and of course, with the 50 amp charged cord, you do already have a re uh, powered retractor already all wired in and ready to rock and roll in this camper. So basically, when you go to camp, remove the uh, the nice little hole for the plug for the hole, so you can run your power cord out and plug in and your inverter along with your surge protector will keep you nice and protected and of course when you go to retract your uh, power cord all you gotta do is hit the button and it's a power retractor so you're not having to find a place to put that cord awesome little section here for the power barn love it next door up from your power barn power barn is your water barn basically your sewage dumps again remove your plug at the very bottom so you can dump your black and gray tanks and of course, this will be where you fill up all your water tanks, your city water, black black, type, black tank flush, excuse me. And of course, if you need to use your high pressure spray port, all in the same uh, water barn door directly in front of your power barn. Being the ghost, it is their, again, their luxury line by Nexus. You do have a Truma on the go hot water heater. And directly below that, you do again have even more storage with that stainless steel bin. Directly in front of that storage there is your 10,000 watt, uh, 10,000 watt Onan diesel generator. This will pull directly off of your diesel tank until you got a quarter tank of fuel, and then this will no longer uh, work. Of course, you can uh, take it directly to your next fuel station, get it refueled. But of course, this is your again uh, Cummins Onan generator uh, runs directly off your fuel tank. Um, you can also start it directly underneath of here. Fires right up but awesome little generator runs your entire camper pulls directly off your fuel tank and can power everything inside your camper while you're going down the road or while you're camping hey guys here we are inside of the 2024 ghost 34 ds of course we're going to start with the awesome shot of the cockpit here of course you have your two comfy chairs what you're that you're going down the road and driving in and of course your full setup here it looks very much like a semi drives like a pickup truck though uh, you have your air brakes and your air, air suspension, very comfy to drive. And of course you have your bunk set up directly above that. Holds 500 pounds, awesome, easy to use. Uh, but of course, but lots of bunk space for whoever you're taking with you. Directly behind me, you do have your dinette here, solid surface countertops all throughout this camper, including your dinette there with lots of storage and pull out drawer space on each side of your dinette. And of course, if you wanna turn this into a bunk, reach directly below that rotate your lock over push straight down and you'll question yourself dalton what are these two little cushions right here they're your inserts for your bed but awesome little setup dinette there can be used as a dinette and of course a bed lots of cabinetry space above us too too your tv is right there directly across from your theater seating uh, of course they're just regular recliners come with seat belts so that way you can sit down buckle in while you're going down the road and of course they recline with just a pull string so that way you can enjoy your tv while you're going down the road or of course while you're sitting in camp awesome theater seating there and of course cabinetry directly above that as well right over here you do have yourself three burner cooktop so that way you can uh, burn your grilled cheese like i always like to do and of course this specific one is just a regular microwave uh, you can option these in with an oven directly below that but this specific one just has regular drawers and of course you can put a convection microwave lots of different different options you can do with the nexus ghost you could put an oven and a convection microwave one or the other however you'd like to do that uh, again solid surface countertops all throughout this camper single basin sink here 
stainless steel sink, lots of space. And of course these solid surface inserts here to ex, uh, exponentially expand your countertop. And of course lots of cabinetry above and below all throughout your camper. Right behind me here with that 2000 watt inverter, huge refrigerator, stainless steel refrigerator with an ice maker below it. Lots of space, plenty of space to move around and lots of storage space, of course. Now, one thing you will notice as I'm moving back towards the bathroom, you have your shower on one side and your toilet on the other. You're gonna ask yourself, well, how do I get uh, privacy while I'm in the shower? Well, right here is a nice little holder for your door. And when you open your door for your uh, bathroom, it locks into place there and you now have privacy while you're in the shower. So speaking of shower, dual glass door, open that up. Nice little corner shower there with the new and improved shower head there. Lots of space, lots of space to move around. And of course, skylight over the head for all the tall people but awesome little shower. Let's check out this toilet. Of course, you have yourself a full porcelain toilet inside of this camper. Lots of space underneath the uh, stainless steel sink there in the bathroom um, for storage and toilet paper, linens, everything there. Uh, GFCI switch in the bathroom, and of course a full vanity with mirrors so you can make sure your teeth are nice and pretty. Makeup's all done for date night with the wife. Lots of space in here, and of course a stink fan in the ceiling after you eat Taco Bell. Here we are in the main bedroom of the camper. Of course, you have yourself a full-size queen bed here. Uh, lots of space directly above for all of your reading material and linens, of course. Directly underneath, you do not have storage as you have your 85-gallon water tank, access to your water filter, and of course, you can see all the wiring and everything underneath of there. But awesome access to all that in case any kind of maintenance needs or anything like that. Directly behind me in the slide, you also have your wardrobe. Lots of space for all of your linens and everything uh, in this beautiful white color here. And of course you have your TV directly across from your bed there. And of course you have your behind TV storage. Just be very careful with it as it does get very close to that ceiling. But lots of storage here in your wardrobe of this camper. Lots of wardrobe space. And of course a very nice bedroom in the back of this diesel motorhome. Thank you for walking through the 2024 Nexus Ghost here at RV Wholesalers. Again, my name is Dalton. Uh, you can just watch this video here on Facebook, YouTube. I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you for joining me.